All right, all right. Welcome, welcome to Be the Change Ritual. Um, so this is an amazing uh, call. I mean, the creation over the years of doing access and other modalities and stuff and learning about and acknowledging how I be the many. I'm a Radha Tiwari and it's like I've done it for almost 10 years, been through up and out of what money means and not means and how does it look or not look. And, you know, it's like how the grant is happening in the world and everything is going through this. So this kind of is not only a money, money call. It's, it's about beyond money and beyond energies. It is that power of you. It's like this program is basically reminding you of your own power whether it's things are working your way, not working your way, you know, um, to actually wake that goal in you to bring up the capacities and how to deal with this money and go beyond the only actualization and the business of the money. So this time, the second rituals really includes a lot of um, finances and the business. But as I've uh, learned from Simone of Access, it's like... Uh, you know, if you're up, you're about you in the morning, you are. You're already in the business. But not many people are able to kind of acknowledge that. And um, how can you make your life more easy, more fun? Um, how to receive in money in different formats? So that has been my potency. And it's like, been there, done that, lot of money, no money. But there is never a state, actually no money. So I know it's like, uh, we to give up our hearts and we do give up into that contraction mode of like, hey, can I make money? Will I be able to make money? Kal paise kaise aayenge? How, would I, how can I run business even if I don't have a business? So what you exactly have in your life is exactly what you have asked for. So this program actually invites you and takes me into and the whole team of Be The Change into it, um, bringing up their um, you know, portes, their programs around how you can actually guide people to be the money and actually, you know, kind of honor yourself to be called those rich folks and you roar with that, right? So I would really like to welcome your questions around money, how it is, and then I can talk more about it before anybody else has a question. Anybody? Hello, Rabia, darling. What's up? What's up? So, so what brings you guys and what pulls you into this call right now? Of course, Rabia, I know I've been waiting for the thing of the rituals when to start, how to start and all. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So we start basically 6th August and we have a lot of, um, you know, um, plans for it, how to show up, not to show up. Um, and how will we go step by step? There's a PDF that we'll be putting up here so that you have more details about this. But my question to you is, what pulls you here? Radha, you would like to go for it? Other than so, me um, I can go for it. <laughs> so the thing is that uh, ever since you sent me this poster yesterday or day before, uh, I think it's only just a day or two. And I've been observing how many uh, past reference points and pestures I have with you because you know we've known each other for so long and there has been like this whole journey of money that yeah. has been there and yeah. I think that's just such a reflection of my own financial reality because I have created money a certain way until now right yeah. and there's like all of that reference point and then there are things that I resist about that and there are things that I like about that so I was just with you I was playing with other like things so many judgments about you were coming up and I was like, who does that belong to? Who <laughs> thinks like this about our Atma? <laughs> and there is like all of this projection of what will work and it will create this, it won't create this. And I I was like, wow, everywhere I'm being that with money. Yeah. So that's, and thank you for sharing that, Ravi. But it actually is, um, we think money as an actualization, like how, Pushwa, when we, I just met and started and she's like, you know, it's only in the class time we are okay and the rest we are not okay. So this is yeah. like kind of a hand holding, holding program where, you know, it's like, I'm there to show you how to implement into your life. And even if you think you do not have a business, but your body is already in a business. You know, so I've also gone through the thicks and thins and everything and still now like, I have, and I'm grateful to me that I still do not make money more greater than me. 
I yeah. want that you probably have such an abundance any which way, even physically. But then I was like, it's okay. But then I thought, you know, it's easy for me to do it. But then I did create that for myself and acknowledge that, hey, I created, whether it's through my husband, whether it's through it was my family or anybody. But my question was, you know, when I saw everybody going through it and I'm like, wow, how many people make money as an excuse of not choosing consciousness? That was my first ever money class I attended with Max Zulek years back. And, and I remember everybody talking about money and me being that money. And I'm like, okay. And you know, also as what you say, Rabia, when you have, you've been such a close knit with me for years. So you know, in and out of me, right? Yet I'm like, here I am. I'm willing to be that vulnerability with money and, you know, play with it. Honestly, I still do not feel it's about money. It's about you. It's like I have gone and so I chose to swim through those spaces and places where people had made their best of excuses that I cannot do this class. I cannot do this. I cannot run business uh, because I don't have money. But that is not true. You will have that money. You will create that money irrespective if you're truly choosing it. So this is also you know, a space where you've been welcome to actually see your truth. So it, definitely, I think Shivani was there one of it in the Raj, last rituals. It definitely at times gets a lot of intensity with it. But the thing is, I'm always been very grateful to money because money actually has shown me so much more and has given me so much of a meaning in the world. I said, oh, because that is one thing, money and sex, these are the two things that actually control everybody. And I think I'm very good at both. So, <laughs> so that is, that's the invitation I uh, to, to be here and uh, this. Sorry, uh, can you just repeat what you said, money and? Money I, it's sex. Sorry. Okay. Money and sex are the two things which are actually holding everybody back and all the judgments around it. It's like not choosing yourself. So this is like a deep dive, which I'll go for three months in it. Okay, you know, like, okay, where are we coming from? Where are we functioning from? And make you go beyond, like how, you know, um, Dr. Dane and Axis is also talking about being that gold, golden thread. Can you actually acknowledge the goal that you are beyond the money restrictions? But a lot of, of you are not able to even step beyond that money because in your world, that money is the first thing which is stopping you to do your thing. But that is not the truth. I have done that. I've been to that level. That level where I have, have no money. And I'm like, no, I'll not buy this as an excuse. Do I truly want to choose this? And it's like how to be more vulnerable with you. How to, and how you can actually change everything around you. Just by changing of your point of view. But yes, we are not able to catch ourselves at times. What is actually you know, uh, about me and which I'm not able to, you know, like gift is lying direct next to you. But, you know, still you get into hello, Komal, you still get into the uh, implants and explants and uh, judgments of everybody, in my, everybody, right? So you just choose and you can change it. But how is the question that comes to everybody's world? So these three months actually take the space of how. Um, so Nali, are you going to be there? Can I make you a co-host, please? I am co-host. You are? Okay, great. Okay, great. Then please take care of letting everybody enter. Yeah. So, Shivani, would you like to uh, say a bit? If that is easy for you, how was the rituals for you and what it actually got? Like, I, I can keep talking about myself, but I'll be grateful if you could let yes, them know. I will go. I was really hooked on to your... My first program I did with you was rituals. I did my bars class and I hopped on to rituals. So just wow. imagine the wow. magic it has created in my life. And post that, it's been just a whole waterfall of classes and how the life has changed. It's, it's had its ups and downs. Yeah. Yes, it makes you stronger and it's all within. I mean, all the money, all the riches, all the richness, it's within yourself. Correct. And uh, yes, and yeah. this program is absolutely magical. We were a, we have a good pack, all of us, the first program. Yeah. It was a fun journey. I think I loved every bit of it. And um, I think I just love the role our posters gives, that roaring capacity within each one of us. How yes. much are we willing to take that on? 
Um, are we ready to bring it on to the world? And actually, it's not about that you won't care for anybody. You will, in fact, um, acknowledge them more. And you know how to dig into your own world wherever you are, you know, stuck. As what you exactly said, that still there was an end and ups and downs, right? I have been seeing your journey too. But at the end, what is the result? Oh, abhi to bale bale hai. Kya aja vai, kuch bhi aja, bring it on. Yeah. I will swim through it. And yes, yeah. the so program, the richness that brings within you, I mean, the confidence. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it's just the acknowledgement of the richness and the wealth that you can't see in you, which when we get together, it's like, you know, okay, and do that. Sometimes you don't even want to do the home place, you know, like I give so much home place. There's like n number of home place. But people are on my classes who actually have also done those home place. Their life has changed to a very different drastic level. And there is a push in my world that I probably might not be a bad teacher by my words, but I energetically kill people. And I think that's what I'm known for, being blunt, being, you know, intense. Uh, but I enjoy that intensity. And that is probably you all are looking for, for somebody to be kind yet kick you. Yes. Right? So it's the whole journey more than, I think it's more than just money, money. It's, a, as you said, the richness and the wealth of you, the gold in you. So, you know, we're struggling. And it's like such struggle is oh, all the time. But you know, when I work on myself 24 by seven, and I'm like, ah, kyo kariye? be here, be now, what is not working for you? And then it's like only my point of view is stopping it. And that's the one simple line that I'm giving to you all, that yes, your point of view creates your stuckness, creates your problem, but still you're not able to see it. Yes. Yeah. So this, and I think that, that's where I kind of deep dive into it and I can actually catch it what is stuck how willing are you to be playing with me how willing are you to change and it's like you know how many times even my um, all my teams said ki yaar ya bahut lambe program bana do three months nahi you should do it in you know just a month or do a three day program or do i said that it doesn't really make sense to me it is that initial nurturing that i have to be with like you know how a three month old baby i tell him ki job bas aaj hi tum jaake khelo on pods right it's like you have to be handheld at certain times. And it's a, it's a choice that you make. Choice is the number one thing for anybody. And your point of view is but how to go deep dive into it, bring it. And, and you know, sometimes you, as what uh, Pushpa has started with it, that, you know, change class ke baad khatam ho jata hai. But that is also interesting point of view. Change class ke baad khatam ho jata hai. So you are creating your reality from there, Pushpa. Right? So, how committed are to you to yourself? What if you are the you are the money? You are that richness and the wealth and you attract everything. And who says that we require money? You know, after all this, I'm like, really? I literally sit with myself, really, Radna, money is a problem. Never. But the that whole idea of believing, trusting your being is what I think I, I choose to give. And it's how everything can be so easy. Mm -hmm. I don't have a long mantra. I don't have a long structure to it, how you have to wait. But yes, if that kind of invites you, uh, not many people uh, ease is invited. You know, not everybody appreciate that ease. But if you actually appreciate and ask in your world right now, all of you here, whosoever it is, a present that really, do you really like ease? My quote is ease. And you know, I've always been commented by people around me because somewhere deep down I have a point of view. Maybe, you know, I'm wrong. Easy is not right. But now I'm like, I jump back. I said, no, easy is right. For me, it's it. Maybe for you, it is not. So this is whole, uh, you know, going deep into your world, picking that up, bringing that, those energies and changing. And then also in this program, we are like kind of, you know, the... Um, formats that we have made up of is how you have ease with that money, with riches, with the wealth and the wealth of you generating and creating your own riches and, you know, and also instituting your work. Maybe you're just sitting at home and doing that work also. How can you institute in the world and make money from there? And probably you already are making, 
but you're not able to see it. So wonder if that is an invitation. You're literally looking for somebody. You're literally be wanting to. Yeah, because how to financial world change? Now, what is it that I'm not doing? I think this program just definitely invites you. And then it's like a kind of an attitude that we wear that we are the rich ones. Right? We know it, and you all know it about you. Yet, and and on that note, it's like so many times I'm like, why do I have to facilitate anybody ever? But then the whole idea is like there are few people who would like okay hello I know it but can you take me there like a baby knows it but still needs a mom's hand or you know initially your parents upbringing and how nurtured cared and welcomed by them so if you're ready to you know change your world you're ready to actually and I'm as what Shivani says it's not going to be easy way it is nothing is easy but nothing is difficult too at the same time it's the intensity of bringing up that money reality in your world, but how many would you choose it? So, let's go one, two, three, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. So, I, I don't, you know, for me uh, to come and tell you guys what is the class going to be about, it sounds like really crazy. I'm like, I just know it's, it's amazing. I know I'm amazing. I vouch for it. I know I'm a golden touch. I touch people and it turns into gold, whatever your definitions to it would be. But I know I am that charisma. How many of you know that about you? Right? All right. Any questions around it? Anybody interested? Anybody's choosing that? Everybody has more questions to what rituals look like and what is the ease with money? Any question on that? Otherwise, I just kind of came today to invite you guys. We start on the 6th and there's an early bird bird pricing there are other discounts and stuff which probably anybody from the team could help me guide you but if you have a question if that makes you interested let me know i'm happy to take your questions today. and anybody from the team would like to say more around it Shivangi, Nish, Sunani. yeah i've just shared the pdf in the group hi guys Shivangi here I have shared the PDF in the group and it has all the details of what will we be doing in the three months, what kind of questions, what kind of themes are we going to cover when it comes to wealth and riches um, and also the payment plans and all the options about uh, payment are uh, mentioned in the PDF. So please go through it. Um, it is different for the, from the first time. Uh, Shivari, I'm so glad to see you here. Um, because you could totally bring in the flavor of what happened the first time. Uh, this is actually moving completely beyond what the first season, which is also going beyond the um, definition of money from this reality completely. So yeah, inviting you all to be the goal, to be the richness that uh, each one of us is it, wherever we are. Yeah. yeah, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to us personally or you can ask us here. So, if I may ask all of you here, what actually pulls you into this? Anybody want to say? No one saying it. How did you get pulled here? What pulled you here, guys, other than me? <laughs> I know Shivani was almost like, I just came because it's a rat now. <laughs> Mama will just call me. How are you going to come back? I'm going to pay my teacher. Thank you. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed with you all. I got to change the call because of the word wolf and the richness. Yeah. I was wondering, uh, how does wolf come in richness? Like, you know? Yeah, so wolf <laughs> always stands out. And the roar. It's like, I know it all. And you know how people see wolf is a very different ball game. I think Shivangi also researched around it. Shivangi, could you like to say a bit about that? Yeah, I think that we did in the first season. Uh, so uh, wolves is something that came up very naturally for all of us in the team when we were talking about the money consciousness program. And like I said, that it has moved beyond uh, money consciousness now. It has really gotten into the world of generosity, abundance and wealth in totality. Um, and uh, wolves uh, also for the reason that, you know, one of the strongest things about wolves is 
uh, how they live in a pack uh, how they you know carry their uh, and and they know that wherever they are they are the pack is around um so that capacity of having the support group that you desire and having the life that you desire who's never sort of cut down on their standards of what they eat or how they be in the world and uh, you know carrying that capacity while you have your support group around you uh, i guess that is something that all of us look for in our worlds too and and therefore the energy of worlds that i think i think is yeah i will share like wolves it's a spirit guide and an animal for many people in shamans wolves oh, yeah. they call on them for assistance like you can try if you want to look for a parking spot for yourself just call on the wolf energies yeah. and this they divine i mean wolf magic begin now and he will surely get a good parking spot for you yeah so <laughs> this is a very magical yeah. spirit guide yeah and on that note how many of our willing to be seen as wolves how we mm-hmm. how many kind it's you know always we say the lion or the tiger or a storm but what about a wolf wolf has always attracted me in my life i'm like okay it's like and i also have the chalu energy <laughs> like mm-hmm. smart energy about the men i i would love to be uh, i would like to um, show up myself as a very manipulative smart intelligent and sharp you know at at situations and in, in situations where in office or in personal life so that people don't take you for granted you know you are a deep power so that is like that's the book. yeah so that that's why you probably pulled up that right what is that with riches has to do with this the, the richness of your own self your own being the wealth that you truly be so have you ever paid attention here and like you know everything is happening something is going down something you know the moment anything goes to, uh weird around me i'm like okay i'm the source what is it going on here so it's not about that it's about beyond and it's actually how when you receive the wealth and the uh, things about yourself and the richness about yourself then the whole picture in the world changes you know it's like willing to be that manipulative bitch i truly be and i'm like it's okay i'm okay to be you know i had all my um point of views around it you know how to show are you being a grifter are you really putting pulling on to people as i'm willing to be seen as anything and everything and it's so funny from last two three days the only thing i'm been hearing about me is people are scared of you and i'm like literally like i'm not even a monkey who get scared of me how people and then i'm like wow what if i'm already being that energy where it's like i see through people that's my capacity of seeing you through and not everybody can receive that too and i'm okay with it and then that only okay i've already stepped into my rich goals and it is like i think okay program starting so i'm already started facilitating myself that's a that's a gift so i wonder what else is possible here if you have that courage if you're fucking willing to be seen as the bitches of the world then please come join we can have more fun a pack of all the bitches and the witches in this group I wonder what else we can create together Said, have you started looking here like you know and yeah. then it so happened like for last three months i have been um, going to intensity back pain and uh, almost like uh, horizontal on the mm. bed mm. wow it's an again horizontal so uh and now running from one pole to another from running bars to mtvs's facelift what not about yeah. being conscious uh, choosing consciousness over medicine yeah and then i realized that i i was i'm fearful of people who um who actually consider me as a competition but they uh, they portray as if they are more powerful and i'm getting fearful mm. it's like a reversible cycle like they are, they think i'm a competition to them mm-hmm. but what but, if you are I'm what aware competition i am a i am aware but thing is that just because they are um, they are putting up a face and trying to put, put up an act that they are powerful and mm-hmm. then i am getting fearful when i see that act so this is something i'm learning how to yeah um, but uh, but is fear really true in your world i don't say i mean you can only see what you be um i think 
think is not what I'm asking you. I'm just saying, is it, is it like, like when you say they are, how can you see them? How do you know it, what it tastes like? But I could even act on a particular situation. They act and they come as the center of attention. Yeah, how do you watch it? How do you know it that's happening? Because I'm aware of it. Yeah, and how are you aware of it? Because I'm present there. Yeah, so, but how do you recognize that energy? This is a manipulative energy or the competition energy or it's greater than you or they are trying to show this and I'm fearful. How are you able to see it? That's my question. Because and then I lose my confidence. Huh? Because then I lose my confidence and I step back. But what's right about it? What's the gift? It's like, are you stepping beyond or are they stepping back? It's like, are you willing to even see yourself there? Like, do you even see what if they're seeing, what you're seeing in them is only what you are being? I'm just seeing a part of it. You are just seeing a part of it. Part of it. You don't want to see the whole thing because then you'll be a bit greater bitch. You don't want to be. I want to be called good, kind, but I am the ulta. I'm like like a knife. I'll go and cut your throat. See, that makes you laugh. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what we how we kind of you know fool ourselves. And we are not even willing to be vulnerable to our own beings. Doesn't that change the equation exactly right now? Like, unless I haven't tasted a kasata ice cream, I do not know what a kasata ice cream is. I like to it, just enjoy it. How do I know it? Because I've tasted it. You've been there. So is it a fear or an excitement that I can upgrade them very well? And how many times have you ever failed is my question. Did you bow down to them or that is your another way, technique to make them bow down and they that the manipulation which that you see. That if you're ready to be cut, I'm ready to cut you through. <laughs> so that is, that is, you know, it's like, it's a gift. What gift in who are you unwilling to see and that's like the role in the world. That contributes to it. Yes, Pushpa, you had a question. I think you had a raise and raise, which is gone, I guess. Anybody else have a question? No, I'm here only. I'm here. Tell me. Um, I think most of it answered about the rituals. What is the thing? It's actually what happens is most of the time when we are asking for money or that said, so like that feeling that, okay, as a wolf, I can get my way across. Is that what we are talking about now? What is it to you? What are you getting? Like, I joined the group in the afternoon. Since then, like two hours, I'm not even aware. Ye karna, ye karna, ye sort karna. And like the mood has automatically changed. So like, it's so powerful, all these words and everything, the energy itself. So I actually would like to be ki ab ke ab wal kehna to kehna hunda kind of thing. It's, it's about claiming about your knowing Bhinta. It's claiming that capacity. And you know, it's so funny, like when we were making the uh, posters were done and things and the graphics and I'm like, don't change my wolves. So, you know, one or two wolves, you're like, no. and we all exactly, I said, no, that wolf energy is like, that is yeah. what I'm asking people. I, I, if, of course, if you can't take the intensity and the bluntness of me, yeah. I'm, going. <laughs> I'm okay to, I'm okay not having people. Yes, I can cut you through. I can be very intense. I can be very laughing and giggling and doing nothing. But yes, I'm forced. That energy is like, I become like a wolf. And yeah. you all want to pounce on you and kill you then. So, I think you choose for it or just the thought itself is enough. Yeah, it's just a thought. It's just you itself, acknowledgement changes everything. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Anybody else has a question to it? So, cool. If you do not have question, I would really, really uh, invite you. This is this is a space that kind of opens up and like initially we did create now these wolves have their own energy. So you want to be with them, play with them, come, let's join and play and just change everything and it's never looking back to it. I just vouch for it. I just know it. You can never be the same. You can never be and 
I know the intensity might come out in a very different way, which probably you're not expecting it to. And you, for you, it will be like, shit, my life is one barbad now. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. I know I can kill you. <laughs> and you can, you know, kind of run that exit stage from access. You can run on yourself and be present here as you you. So if that attracts you, if that kind of really even calls you a bit, just choose. Happy to van hold you and uh, take this journey. Awesome, guys. If you have a question, well, like, otherwise, just get, a, get in touch with us. And I think the early bird pricing is still what date is the Shivang or something? Umesh, you know? Yeah, I'll just, I just wanted to mention a few things. Yeah. Uh, one is, of course, that our Be the Change Club members and um, the people uh, who were with us for the first season have special discounts. So please do go through the details if you are interested. Um, and also the early bird pricing offer is open till the 31st. We start the first call on the 6th of August and thereafter there will be calls every Sunday uh, and it will be 90 minutes calls. And we will be active on our private WhatsApp group throughout. Aradhna, you are muted. I said also the team keeps coming and during the week kind of take you around, make you play. Yeah, I mean, we, we try and open up the entire week to everyone in a way where if they wish to come and conduct a session for uh, for the group, then they can. I mean, the team definitely participates from Be The Change, but if any of the participants also are willing to take or conduct a session um, that, that you think you have as a skill and you'd like to, you know, just... Uh, run it around with people or share it with people in whichever manner you would like. So we can also arrange those kind of uh, gatherings online or meetings. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your presence. Hope that was um, contributive. And if you have anybody, if you're not choosing, if anybody else you know would be interested, please pass the word and we'll be grateful. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.